Hello, hello, and welcome to Quackalope, where today we are going to be playing Apex Legends. The board game. By Glass Cannon Unplugged. Yes. Dude, I am so excited. Yeah. I cannot wait to play this game. I've had an opportunity to play the video game a few times. A I'm not, few? A few. I mean, I try to downplay as much as I play the PS5 yeah. so that I, you know, I'm really focusing Don't get into more trouble. on the board. I mean, there's that. Uh, cause my boss is kind of over there, so, uh, you know, I don't want it to, to seem like I'm playing a, a whole lot, but I've played it a few times. Um, how many wins do I have? Just ask me, Shira. None. I have absolutely none. Yeah, I don't ever win a game. Uh, I actually <laughs> I probably... I already knew that answer. Yeah, I'm probably the reason that my teams lose the majority of the time, but I like to have fun, and that's really a win in the long run, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely. So, uh, what is Apex Legends, Shira? Apex Legends is this... Ah, I love that you were going to answer yeah, that question. Exactly. Because I've actually never played the video exactly, games. Exactly, yeah. Never, never played the video games, and that's okay. <laughs> I'm going okay. into this from a board game perspective. <laughs> that's and right. And actually really enjoying what I'm seeing so far. Yeah. And one of the things that... Uh, so Apex Legends, for those of you who don't know, is a gigantic battle royale uh, where you are taking legends that have uh, special powers and abilities, and you're just pairing them together and fighting against other uh, legend pairs and, and groups on the actual map itself. There are different types of maps there's different seasons i believe they're right now in season 13 or 14 something along those lines so it's been going on for a very long time it's an incredibly popular game in fact it's the most uh, heavily played game the uh with the largest player count at one point in time uh, still active player count of any other game out there which i think is really really cool um, which is why it's probably being brought into uh, the board game space. Yes, yeah. it is. And it's kind of a, the, the board game that we have in front of us here is kind of a mix between a traditional board game and a war game. Um, so, like, it, it should appeal to some of those Warhammer people. Yeah. Um, unless you're... But there's an ease of access yes. that is not there with Warhammer. So, uh, more of an entry-level mid-weight game board gamer will have a lot of fun with this. There mm -hmm. is definitely some modularity making things easier and harder. There's going to be different scenarios. Yep. And there are different uh, modular boxes and things like this as well. So it's a fold flat system. Yeah. So that way it folds into a standard size box, which is fantastic, which allows it for some portability. You can take it different places. And for those of you who have tons of amazing minis, these are 40 millimeter minis and they are absolutely beautiful. Now, granted, these were hand painted by an award winning painter, I believe from Poland. Please uh, forgive me if I'm incorrect in that. But Oh my goodness, dude, these are amazing. Yeah. They're this absolutely beautiful. This is a prototype beautiful. we're in front of us, and so disclaimer, we are working with Glass Cannon. This is a sponsored gameplay, and mm -hmm. this is a prototype, and things are subject to change. Um, some of the things we're gonna explain are not the same as when they created the prototype. They've already made some revisions and yeah. making continuous improvements, so. And we currently have four of the legends that are yep. available for play, but they've already announced that there are 13 uh, that will be out there. There's as gonna well. be a five and six player mode, and there's also going to be a solo mode yep. designed by David Tersey. And to make sure that this is an incredibly great board game, not only David Tersey doing the solo mode, but you also have uh, the folks who created um, Frostpunk, Frostpunk the, board. the board game, are part of the developers. Yep. yep. And then the other is Fantasia, Fantasia Games. Fantasia Games. They, uh, the co developers, uh, the co owners co of that were also a uh, part of the developing team for this. So amazing. With that being said, with that being said. What are we trying to do here right now? I'm trying to kill you. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna try to kill him. Yeah, so the way that you win this game is either survive to the ninth round and have the most uh, kill points at the end, or kill each one of the opponent's characters one time. That is uh, our particular mission with this particular setup. Yes. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Apex, throughout the rounds, these do have uh, closing force fields that will be making the, the uh, board smaller and smaller. Um, so our advancement- these are. Yeah, our advancement for the next round will be bringing this in by three, over by two, and over by one. So we'll be playing in this kind of area here within a very short period of time. Um, this game does give you a lot of that strategery where you've got to track your ammo, you've got, you have the ability to get different weapons should you desire to do so, and you can upgrade those weapons by adding on different uh, little pieces like stocks and attachments. Thank you for the word there, couldn't find it. Um, but that does make this game very unique and very different because the pulls that you're going to get from opening these special boxes throughout the round will allow you to have those extra pieces brought out. The variability between the weapons and how you're going to customize your character, the different characters that are going to be available, 
is is insane. It um, is insane. The different scenarios, the different goals that you're going to be trying to achieve. They've mentioned that they might be doing some like capture the flag and some other types of scenarios, some objective mm -hmm. scenarios. So there should be a ton of replayability with Absolutely. this. And uh, so speaking of characters, Shira, as if you were to create a beautiful transition that has never been thought of before, what characters are you playing with today? So I'm going to be playing with Bloodhound. They have a lot of abilities that allow them to find characters and seek them down. In this, in this version, they are going to have ravens that they can attach to other characters and basically be able to shoot at them even if they're uh, otherwise unable to be seen. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I also... And while she's getting that, I just want to say, for those of you big fans of Bloodhound out there, while, there, while the special ability of locating people with heat seeking for your entire team isn't technically there, the Ravens do a really great job of still giving that, that same thought process, which is still part of the original Vigi game. And then I have Bangalore, and she's able to put up these smoke clouds, and they offer some protection against being shot at and shot through from all the different shootings. Absolutely. Very cool. And you also have the big gigantic boom that will happen. I have do to... have a big gigantic boom. Yeah, the rolling boom. thunder, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's going to be a great rocket that's launched. All right, and for those of you who already saw the mini, I do have Gibraltar, uh, a.k.a. Gibby, and Gibby will allow you to... Uh, take care of your shields, so you'll have a shield dome that goes over top of you. He also has uh, his defending um, defensive bombardment as well, so that's pretty cool and exciting. And then my favorite of all the characters is Wraith, and Wraith, while technically right now <laughs> we can't you ask very specific questions yeah this. so uh, the only reason i play wraith so much is because i love kidnapping and for those of you who play the game you know kidnapping is really cool you put a portal like up high the person falls through it when they're chasing you uh, on the other side and then you're the rest of your team is there and then they just destroy that person which is amazing um unfortunately we can't do exactly that right now but i have been told by the developing team that that's something they're working on right now. So I'm really excited about that. But uh, uh, Wraith has the ability to do dimensional portals so she can place one down and then run away and put one down on the other side. So it allows you to, to flip back and forth and move very quickly uh, around the, the arena, which is very cool. Um, she also has uh, Into the Void where she can um, move very, very, very quickly. So. Those are the basics of our characters. We did do a quick start setup. There's going to be ways that you can customize and pick your gear more specifically. We mm -hmm. got a bunch and then applied it to our characters. And now we are, I think, ready to enter we the board. We are now ready to enter the board. Sierra, uh, you have the basic initiative here. Yes. You get first choice. So which section are you picking using our board checker here? I am going to... Mm-hmm. I'm going to enter the board from this side over here. All right, and so when you do that, you're going to take these two pieces there. Oh, no, actually, I wanted to enter from this side down here, but same side down here. Same side, but lower. Fine. Um, and I'm going to enter. You have to enter on the ground, yep. One. Um, so I've entered, and then I'm going to take these two pieces. Oh, first initiative. Okay. Awesome. And a shotgun bolt, which I will apply to my shotgun. That will be very exciting. All right. And then you get a move two. Mm -hmm. um, I believe all the characters come in first, and then we take that second those move two. So yep. um, I will be. Uh, so me come in go. next then. Uh, so I'm going to bring in Gibby up here in the top section, and he's going to take this. Did you come in from this side? I did come in from this side, yep. yep. So he's going to take this awesome uh, shield, which is fantastic, and the uh, rare loot as well. So I'll pull something from the bag. Nice. That means I get to update my shield, which is very cool. And then I am going to enter with Bloodhound from, from the bottom, I think. Yep, I'm going to enter from the bottom. And I'm going to be... I'll go right here. All right. And I'll get this. Um, an extra move, too. Cool. Okay. I will keep that um, until we do all our moves. And that and means... I got a three HCOG Ranger to apply to my shot. All right, and that means Wraith is coming in from the top. So she's going to come in from there and grab this bad boy and place it on her charge. And a move two as well. So um, I guess she's going to come this way and come. Nope, she can't come up yet. So she's just going to move one for there. It's fine. Okay. Did you take the move two yet? Yeah, I did. Just you did? 
Well, that oh. was the move two that came with it, yep. Okay. So now it is officially your turn to do your second I part. didn't take the move two that came with mine, so oh, okay. I'll do one, two. Perfect. All right, so now it is the beginning of the first round. Yep. Um, what would you like to do, Ms. Shira Chavin, considering you're hiding behind some buildings? Move two up here. Move two up there, yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, so she will get an opportunity at? to activate both of her people, and then I will get an opportunity to activate well, both no, of mine. We each mine. take our first, we, we enter the board, we take a move two, and then we start the round. Mm -hmm. So I did the move two. Move two, now we're ready to start the round. So I am, did you so take all I get your to do my two. Yep. So move two, and I'm not gonna move her again. Okie dokie. Now I am going to move two for mm -hmm. my first action, and then I'm going to move one and interact. And we have a total of two actions that we can do each, uh, each person, each turn. Yep, so. and so some of the actions we can do, we can do a move two, we can do an interact and a move in any order, a use and a move, one of our items, a melee attack and move, a shoot, and a self respawn. So I did my move two, and then I'm going to use an interact. Do you have the loot deck? The loot deck is on your side, I believe. Yes, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can you open this? I sure can. Which, how cool is it that you actually can open these supply crates directly? I mean, come on now. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So cool. And now this provides half cover for you, should you be on the other side. Even when they're closed, they'll provide that half cover. Yep. And some shooting scenarios will do. All right, and I get two epic loot and two epic loot, one weapon or ammo. And I believe I am going to take ammo. Okay. And so that was with Bangalore. Bangalore, where would you like your... Let's see what the... And here epic... are your two epic loot skis. Okay. This is a knockdown shield. Yep. Nice. And a phoenix kit. I haven't seen that phoenix kit yet. Me either. That is uh, 20 points of health and 20 points of shield. Wow. That's awesome. That's amazing. Um, and they've re customized the gear slots um, in the... They've updated them. Yeah, in the There's new... no colors, and so yeah. we are not going to be playing with colors, but there's also only eight slots. And so we're going to be ignoring these two slots on our player boards in case you see us doing that. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you get your ammo? I'm going to replace my knockdown shield um, and drop this. Uh, so that's those actually, gears oh, these, these go gear away, don't. yeah. Items you could drop. Correct. And then Phoenix, I'm gonna put that up here. And ammo, I <sighs> not happy. Mm -hmm. I wanted something better. You wanted something better. I wanted something better, but she I She says that take... she gets a Phoenix, which will give her an additional I know, but I have not upgraded my I haven't upgraded my sniper yet. And oh. so I'm gonna and I'm positioning myself to be a sniper. Alright. You, you you see what's happening right here, right? I'm playing the world's smallest violin. Shh. For, for all of your extra health points that you just received. Okay, Bangalore. Kay. Bangalore did as such. Uh huh. Now it's Bloodhound's turn. Bloodhound is going to first interact. Okay. Uh, and so I so, will. Here, I'll do that. Oh, you got it? That Perfect. That was easier to open. And we got one epic and two rare and weapon and ammo. And I know which ammo I'm going to be choosing here. Here the, is a rare. Don't explain how they've changed the ammo while well, I yeah, take a look so at the items. Yeah, so in the new uh, version of the game, again, prototype, prototype, prototype. So things are always uh, looking to change because they're updating and doing all types of really cool things. Uh, the new version allows you to track ammo on your actual board uh, whereas we're using tokens to track ammo so it's a little different um, be aware that when you get the actual uh, new version of the game it will probably be different even from that who knows but uh, currently uh, on the actual the new prototypes that they're working with they have a tracker on the actual board that tracks the amount of ammo that you've currently got uh, we're using tokens to be able to do the same thing yep okay all right, and that is your first action. So now you have your second action point for good old Bloodhound. Um, well, I have an interact and then I have a one move. Oh, I didn't want you to take that move. I was hoping you would forget about it. Frankly. And then I'm going to take a move two. All right. And uh, so one of the things that is exciting about this game is that elevation does play a huge part in the shooting process. So eventually, once we can see each other and fire at one another, we will have the opportunity to, to do all kinds of very crazy things Eventually. with each other. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is, I know Wraith is on this side here somewhere. Do I drop this if I don't want it? Yes. Okay. Uh, there's Wraith. All right, she's interacting with this box. 
So, we're opening this bad boy up, setting it back down roughly where it was, and can you grab me a card, please? Yes, I can. I would like one with three rare, uh, uh epics. That's only one epic, Shira Chapin. Uh, yep, that's that was, one epic and three commons. And three commons. That is a pretty crappy card. It's almost as if you did that on purpose. I shuffled the deck. They also let me shuffle the deck before we started. Mm-hmm. Sure. What you got? I hear you. All right, so that's I got a uh, focus, which is fine. You got a bomb. I got you were complaining two. that you had, you had, you were complaining you had no grenades. The problem is, is that she has, <laughs> she has plenty of them. I know. Yeah. I have to make my characters meet up at some point to give a tradesies. Yeah. Um, they have stuff that will be appreciated on the other so side. So I'm dropping this right there because I don't need it. And let's see here. Uh, do I need this? Well, this one's way better, so I'm going to put that one on that. And uh, I'm going to drop this because I don't need that either. Cool. All right, now she has a move one, which she's not going to use because she doesn't need it. Uh, and then she's going to move to getting up here onto the building. Fantastic. And now Gibby is going to move two. And because, you know, reasons. Oh, we forgot to draw our hands. Um, Just start out with a hand of three cards. Yeah, start out with a hand of three cards. Uh, we're gonna fire because I'm having an opportunity here to to hurt you, and I feel like that is where are you aiming? Great opportunity. Here? Yeah. Oh yeah, my. I can see you from across the way. Yeah, that's a little ridiculous. It is a little ridiculous, but you know what? That's why we have sniper weapons, so it's fine. Okay. And uh, let me grab race cards. So the key here is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, that's that's fantastic. And the cool thing about this weapon... It doesn't make you get any stronger with the distance. It's true. It is true. <laughs> I, I don't get any stronger with the distance, but the good thing about it is this weapon's happy range is anything five or greater. So this is definitely greater. Yep, that is greater. It's definitely greater. Uh, so I'm using my charge rifle, uh, which is a very exciting and fun uh, unit because what it does is... Uh, let me show you here on the board... Uh, what it does here is it has a best location of five. So as long as I'm shooting five or higher, it's fantastic. It only draws one card, which is less good. And you have to get a 65 to hit. Uh, and I don't have anything that makes that rifle. any better. What's that? I hate this rifle. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it does 15 points of damage if I manage to get a 65 or better, which is great. And then if I manage to get a headshot, which we'll show you in the cards in a moment, that would actually be an additional 5 points of damage. All of that's wonderful, but a 65 is really hard to get. The cool thing about it, however, is that it has a passive ability. And its passive ability is, I just draw 3 cards, and if those 3 cards happen to be 45 or better, then it automatically does 7 points of damage to the person I'm aiming at. This is the coolest weapon in the entire thing, in my opinion, because it's amazing. So, uh, we're setting that there, and now, Shira, we're going to go ahead and fire this bad boy off, but let's take a look at those cards before we do. We do have the opportunity to use some of our cards here. Taking a look at my cards, and I'm going to be shuffling the... I want to show those cards off to our oh. people so we can tell them exactly what works. So, um, as we play these down, we're going to place them on the zero here to start with, and then we'll move cards down throughout the the shooting uh, situation depending upon how many cards you need to make that rifle shoot. In other words, how many bullets you're firing. Um, there are some different symbols and symbology that's here so we can showcase those to you. This shows that if you are at a higher level than the person that you're aiming at, it's an automatic hit regardless of the number that you're looking for. Um, this big skull here is a headshot, so you'll get to do that additional damage uh, that is on your card. This means that if you are lower than the person you're aiming at, regardless of the number, it's definitely not a hit. Um, these little halvesies here on the sides, if you have two of them in the line that you're shooting, they count as one hit, even if the numbers don't match, but you do have to have two together. Um, this means that it is an automatic miss if the person is behind any type of cover, like a half cover or whatever. Uh, so those are some of the different things that are showing here. And then on the bottom, you'll see these little arrows. These are the bane of my existence, because if you're throwing a grenade, you have to draw cards, and the, you are apparently are terrible at throwing. Or at least I am. Because <laughs> the wind takes the grenade and makes it not... It goes in the direction that the arrow is pointing based on the map when exactly. you draw it. And I don't like that at all, because, you know, it. it's just... I always draw the ones that have the arrows. Shira never does. She's got perfect aim. It's ridiculous. Yeah. All right, so on this, now we have an opportunity. I have a chance 
seconds to enhance the shot that I'm about to take. So I can make it stronger, um, I could do something as a team to make it that way. And looking at these cards here, I'm just going to showcase the things that are. So these types of things here are before you shoot cards. Yep. This is a before you shoot team card, which means I could even use this on Wraith's turn. Um, this is a before you shoot for specifically me. Um, and this one here is specifically a defensive one because it says that if, uh, because I'll have an opportunity as the aggressor to shoot and play cards, she will have an opportunity as the defender to play cards as well. This particular one here would ignore that red uh, extra damage and it will also uh, give me 10 points of shield uh, from the whole situation, which is fantastic. Uh, at this point, I'm not gonna actually use any of these uh, cards because Gibby really, most of his cards are defensive in nature. Um, there are definitely some good aggressive cards in here as well, but a lot of his before you shoot stuff is more uh, set for being defending and, and helping out his other people. So Shira, are you gonna use any cards on this? I'm not using any cards on this. Tactically decided, make sure to take off one piece of ammo because you're shooting your gun. Yep, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now we're going to pull three cards first for this Drink, initial cut shot. Don't shuffle it anymore. I've been messing with it. Yeah. That becomes the bane of my existence. Um, so one of the cool things about Apex Legends is that there is no dice rolling. Everything is mitigated by cards and items and actions. Yep, so here we go. The first three cards. Oh, that's a 55. That's a 65. And... Oh, that's a 30. All right, so 14 points of damage automatically to you, which is fantastic. Shooting at Bloodhound. Shooting at Bloodhound, yep. Okay. So, and these are our health trackers. We start out with a base of 40 health, and then any body shields get added to that. And so you first take away from the body shields. So 30 minus 14 is 16. All right. And then for the actual shot itself, uh, according to this, I still I need a 65. Uh, yeah, 65. That's probably not going to happen. And it didn't. So... Oh well. <sighs> would have been nice. Would have been nice. But no, that's would fine. not have been nice. All right, so at least I uh, hammered you down a little bit. I feel good about that. Good, I'm glad. All right, let's go back over there. And that is the end of uh, my turn with uh, both of my characters. Should have advanced that for my turn and then yep. your turn. And ends. so now we go into the middle. So we're pushing round across. Yep. So it is now round two. Uh, the tracker here on the side says that we push the round marker, we pull in this thing if that happens, and we give damage based around that, and then we will... Uh, Refresh um, our cooldown track. Any items that are on our cooldown track, we'll move them along, and then we each get to draw up one draw card. Draw a new card, which is fantastic. Alrighty, and now we're moving on to red turn. Yeah, what are we going to do? I think you should cower in a corner. Don't. Maybe not. Don't really want to. No? No, uh, I'm not going to lie. I feel like that that could be better, though. Not going to lie. Mm. I'm going to tactfully move a building um, to see what's on the other side. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to... I'm going to act with Bangalore first. Bangalore is going to take a step forward. One. And then drop off the side of the building. Uh, two. You can't drop off a, a level two. two side. You have to only drop one off. Otherwise, uh, you'll break your legs. Really? Really. One, two, one, two. Be tighter. All right. In there. Um, and so all Bangalore did this action was move. It's a lot of movement, though. It is a lot of movement. Yeah. Um, and Bloodhound's going to do one, two, one, and interact. Okay. Um, and so if you can open this, mm -hmm. grab a crate. One epic and three common, please. One epic and three common. This one, because it was painted, is a little bit more challenging. There we go. One epic and three common. Yeah. Here is your one there epic. I hope it's not helpful at all. Oh. <laughs> Sniper stock. That might be helpful. And then there's three common for you. It would be helpful if I could <clears throat> get it over to who I need it. Yeah? Yeah. All right, that's my turn. Um, it's going to be your turn. It's going to be my turn? Okay. Yes. I didn't interact with that one. Why are you opening that one? That is the one you interacted no. with. Oh, gotcha. Bloodhound interacted. My bad. So that one's still closed. Cool. All right, uh, so now we move on to the blue turn. And now, so we still have line of sight. And right now, because they're in this little pit, uh, I can't see them, which is probably a tactfully intelligent thing for Sheer to have done. Uh, no, not me. 
So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is move Wraith up here for two. And can she see? She can't. Uh, she can, uh, she can't move and shoot though. Boo, Shira Chavin. <laughs> you mean I actually did something smart? You did something very smart and I dislike it greatly. Yeah. Because if I scoot, so if I go all the way to the edge here where I'm able to see them, number one, that takes both of my movement things and I don't like it. Uh, but the other thing about it is she'll be able to see me, which is less good as well. So, tactfully, one of the things that you can do is actually discard one of your cards, because at the bottom of the cards it says move one is a rush action. So, I could take a look at these cards and see if there's any on here that will likely end up making it so that I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, and, yeah, so I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is get rid of one of these after I shoot cards. And these cards don't come back. So once you've used them, they're done. He's um, desperate. I'm very desperate. Desperate, folks. Which allows me to move this one right there. And that should allow me to see you here because there's a level right here. And that means you're one away. So I can see you and you can see me for the record. Mm -hmm. And that allows me then to shoot you again. Or at least for the very first time. Did I shoot Bloodhound the first time? I did. So Bloodhound is going down. That's what I can tell you. Guess what? Yeah. Wraith also has a charge rifle. It's a fantastic thing. I hate his charge rifles. Uh, she also has a Sentinel, which is great. Uh, it, it still only does one shot. Both of her weapons really only do one shot. The Sentinel does a ton of damage, but it's also very hard to hit. And there's no guarantee that it's actually going to hit. It's only 10 uh, better to use that particular one. So I think what we're going to do is use the charge rifle again. So. Uh, she's gonna take one point off here for that, so I can remember I've taken the... I'm three away from you right now. Three away, hey? So one, one two, two, three. Yeah, so that means there's a penalty <laughs> for using the charge rifle, right? So if you're out of range, uh, so the charge range, the charge rifle range is five or better, farther. Uh, so in this particular circumstance, that will add a plus 10 penalty for each uh, space farther away. So that would mean to hit, I'd have to have a 85. But guess what doesn't matter? Your stupid seven. The stupid passive ability doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fantastic. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and fire away at that. So, Shira, shuffle those bad boys up. Are you gonna do any enhanced cards? You're hitting Bloodhound again? I'm hitting Bloodhound again with everything I have. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she's going to use a before you shoot card in this particular instance in theory. Yep. I'm going to use this. My before shoot move two. The shoot is canceled. The enemy does not lose the AP or the ammo. They may still perform the shoot action this round. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to move right in here, which should change the line of sight. Yeah. So that does change the line of sight because now the closest thing I have is one space away off the top here. And I have to, she would... One times two is two. And they're hidden. The two spots. Um, you could technically shoot at Bangalore. But yes, you're correct. I could shoot at Bangalore. Still um, only one, two, three spaces away, I believe. No, four maybe now. One, two, one. Why well, you gotta mess up everything for me, Shira? I was really two, three, just really Four spots away from it. Bangalore. Go for it. So that means it's only a 75. But I really wanted to hit Bloodhound. I just wanted to really push damage on one I know, person. but I also wanted my characters to be next to each other. The moment to say they like that. I don't like that. Okay, what you all. gonna do? Fine. Um, still shooting? Still shooting. Shooting at who? Gonna shoot at Bangalore. Okay. I'm not gonna feel nearly as good about it, though. Are you doing any other enhanced actions or shoot at... Or sorry, before <laughs> no. you shoot actions with Bangalore? Before? Uh, just in case. Yeah. Because, I mean, maybe you got another one of them cards that you can just throw down there and say, hey, West, you can't shoot who you want to anymore. What kind of game is this? I, I can't mean, shoot who I want to shoot? Yeah. Uh, it, won't, it won't help as much. I could play something. Mm -hmm. But your it's thing, early. Your thing, yeah, I hate your... Where are you shooting with your... Oh, yeah, weapon? charge rifle. Same charge one. rifle? Okay. Absolutely. Go for it. Yep. Take right. off your ammo. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm not clearly using anything there. Oh, I've opened three crates, and I don't think I've taken three ammo. Taking two, I get one more ammo for Bloodhound to go for it. Sorry. Okay. Ooh, I forgot to take an ammo as well on one of mine. So here we go. A 20, that does nothing. A 45, that does something. So I, I hit you once. There we go. Once. Once? Seven? Yep. Thanks. And then technically we're supposed to reshuffle all these cards back in 
for the actual shoot itself because all cards should be available to you. <sighs> okay, and now for the actual shot. Oh, it's a 75, which is just what I needed, right? Because I'm four spaces away. I'm four spaces away. What's your... 65. 65. So I needed a 75. I didn't even think it was going to be close, so yeah. I didn't even do the math. So yes, yeah, 75 is a hit. Fantastic. What's the damage? That is a 15. 15 okay. damage. So that was actually pretty good. Yeah. 20 some points. That got into your actual health. Yeah. You should have just let Bloodhound take it. No! Alright. Um, so I I didn't take a... I've only opened one of these chests so far. I have, I've opened one for Wraith. So I'm putting back the ammo that she used. Because technically I should have grabbed an ammo and I forgot. Yep. So. Ammo, ammo or weapon. Yep. And then has Gibby gone? Gibby has not gone yet. So Gibby is going to go... He really wants to shoot Bloodhound as well, is the thing. So if he goes one, two, that's still two away, so he'd have to rush as well. But he can get her from here, because that's two, two, so he can see her. So one and two. He's two away from here, so line of sight shows there, so he can see mm -hmm. her, and she can see him. And Gibby is going to fire away, fire away. Uh, he doesn't have any before Your shoot actions. Your rifle four ammo? Three. Yeah, four. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, are you doing any before you shoots? Nope. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take a ammo off here, and then we're going to pull some three cards again. Woo! -hoo. Just in case you did any funky shoveling. Oh, oh! Hey! All right, so there was seven. Fantastic. And he is one, two, three, four, five away. So he's at perfect height. So if I can manage to pull a 65, which, again, not always that easy to do because there's not that many of them in there. Let's see what happens. Ba-boom! Definitely didn't pull a 65. That was a 20. That, 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 he shot it and fell at the same time. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened there. All right, now he's going to back up, and he's going to interact with this thing here. How did he move to and then shoot? Oh, he didn't move, get to do again. I want to, Shira. Isn't that, doesn't that count? No. Like, it doesn't count? Taking lots of actions over there. I want there. more actions. More, more, more. More. End of round. End of round. Okay, no, so now that goes back to red. Yay. All right, so we are interacting with each other. Um, We are going to... Take. We're gonna use um. It's gonna be Bangalore's action. Um, okay. We're gonna inter interact with Bloodhound. We're gonna trade some things. So trade some things. So anytime you're adjacent items. to each other, you can trade some items if you want. One item. So trading up a stock. A given a charge thing. A sniper stock. A okay. shield cell. Mm -hmm. And. Which grabbing the shield cell you can actually use with the sentinel rifle to do a much stronger action Yep. then it hurts a lot more then we're gonna drop this in an adjacent space okay um pick these up okay um so this is gonna be equipped on the sniper shield cell is gonna go on here and pick up that battery um and Oh, technically, when I hit you with the original shot, I should have added two because I forgot that the charge rifle has extra <laughs> stuff added to Which it. Which one? Um, Which character? For uh, the... For with, Bangalore? Yeah, for Bangalore, when I shot with Wraith. Okay. She should have two extra damage. Because every little bit counts in this game, let me tell you. Every little bit counts. Okay, so Bangalore just made some... Oh, and Bangalore wanted this. Um, so technically... They switched three items, um, and then um, I'll leave these two shield batteries here um, because uh, Bloodhound's going to pick them up okay. um, with his with their interact. Okay. Um, here's the optics. All right, and then with my second action for so technically you do get to move if you wanted to. Yes, I am. Don't okay. worry. We're moving one. Okay. And then we're moving one, two. It's a hiding. Cowardly behind a wall is what you're saying. No, not no? at all. Not at all. Okay. No. Um, it feels like drop. cowardly hiding behind okay. a wall. Now, it's going to be Bloodhound picking okay. up these two shield batteries. 
Okay. Um, and then a bloodhound is going to through the move. Okay. Then bloodhound's going to interact with this. Okay. And draw two. Um, and draw a card. Okay. Two epics, please. Uh, really? Why do you get so many epics? I need them. And don't forget to grab an ammo. Yep, I'm grabbing an ammo. Ridiculous amount of ammo over here. So for the record, there's only two more of those things on the entire board. It's almost like if I take away all of your ammo, you will not be able to do much to me. I don't really like that. Body shield! Increased to 40 automatically. Drop mm -hmm. my other body shield, which takes bloodhounds from 16 up to 40. That's okay. I just have no way to shoot you now, which is very frustrating. Uh-huh. That was my strategy. And then Bloodhound gets a move and it's gonna move right in there. Hi. Okay. So I have to get to here to be able to see you behind there. Mm-hmm. I honestly think I have to get to here to be able to see you through there because this side here if you're doing a tracing a line where's this line coming from so yeah if i get to here i can see you from there <sighs> it's really far and now you've got 40 health 40 shield shield i also got another phoenix kit at one point what it seriously it's like the game is rigged for shira <laughs> not even at all you're the one who's taken so many pots I, at me yeah and now it's like i did nothing to bloodhound at all okay uh, so here we One, go. Two. Gibby's moving for two, and now he's gonna shoot you. One, two, three, four. You're slightly disadvantaged. Slightly disadvantaged. The good news is Gibby's rifle absolutely doesn't have anything good for it because it's it is Wraith's rifle that does. Wow, that's terrible. Good. Um, hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. So actually, I'm taking that back. I am going to take a step back, interact with this thing. <laughs> Are you like, maybe I should get some ammo? Yeah, I don't think you're going to come up here, though, because that would mean you'd actually have to interact with a battle and, like, shoot people. But you're saving until later, I have a feeling. Uh, so can you draw me a card, please? Yeah. Make it one with a really good... Epic and two rare. That's, that's not bad. All right. So I'm taking another uh, ammo back here for... Wait, that was Wraith. There we go. For Gibby. And then I've got a, you an move. epic... And two rares. And then you'll have one move and then another action point. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got a med kit. Yeah, and then I got a stability that doesn't Barrel matter. stabilizer. All right, so let's see here. You don't need a barrel stabilizer? I definitely don't need a barrel stabilizer. Mm -hmm. Rough. Yeah, and actually none of this is helpful uh, at all, which is great. Do you have an energy weapon? I don't. Okay. I dropped an energy mag. Cool. Um, yeah, so these are just going to hang out up here because can't use them and neither can my part. Oh, wait, the stock my partner can. So I'll hold on to that, which means I have to drop something else. So I will have drop... Have anything stack? You've already stacked. Stacked them all. So I'll drop that and keep this. I guess technically I could just leave this here and she could come get it. That's probably better. All right. Which it would have been... I could have held on to it. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I do, because I can move over to her. So I keep forgetting. Wraith is down here. Gibby is up there. Did so, you put all the things onto Wraith's? The ones you just got? No. I put okay. them over here. Because his is up there. So, Which is why none of that matters for him. And she can't use that stock anyway, so I'm going to leave it there because it doesn't match. Perfect! As if I know what I'm doing, I think I'm pretty smart. We'll get this done. You get done. one move and then you get another two move. <sighs> So I'm going up here, and then I'm going to pop up here. Okay. Okay. Wraith? Now, Wraith is a problem. Because she can't get to where she needs to go. Use her super speed. Yeah. All right. So let's look at her special abilities here. So she can do Into the Void, um, which is until the end of your act in, each move gains you one extra move. Uh, and then before you shoot, if you use it for that, after you your first shoot, you can move two. And if you're out of the line of sight, all enemy shots automatically miss. Otherwise, the enemy gets recoil plus two. 
Uh, or we could do the dimensional gate here and put up some really awesome stuff and then she gets a uh, uh, you can only use move for each move two you gain two additional movements so she can move to a four if she does that so, so each, for the other one it's each move one gets an additional move point so every move is essentially doubled yes so that would allow her to move a total of four spaces which is basically what this does as long as you're using it as a move two so I think the best thing, all right, let's do some counting here. So if I put a dimensional rift here, I could then do uh, down for one, down for two, right? And then, then I'd get three, four, but then it's only an extra, uh, then it would be again, so I could get up here, but then you could shoot me, which feels less good. Feels wonderful. Mm. Come on over. Not so sure about that. So could I do down, 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 down? Then you couldn't see me, but then you could just pop up over there and still see me. You can't see me then either. I don't really need to see you. I'm just trying to put rifts in different places so I can easily get from one place to another. <sighs> okay, so right now we're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna be frustrated about it because I don't want you to be there anymore. So I'm gonna go movement one. of two, yep. and then movement of two. Okay. Okay. Great round. That was a terrible round. All right, move the tracker over, don't do anything else. We card. get to grab a card. And move things along our time. Okay. And now it is your turn. Yeah. Bless you, puppy dog. <laughs> Apparently the pollen is getting to everybody, including the dog. <laughs> puppy sneezes are so freaking cute. Okay, Bangalore is going to interact with this uh, chest over here. Okay. Uh, open, please. Yes. And... Three rares, one common, please. Okay, there you go. Three rares, one common. Why yep. am I grabbing the epic bag? I don't know. I don't either. Did you get your ammo? Not yet. Okay. Um, I'll take one of these. Three rares. Body shield, which will help. Um, a shield cell, which will also help. A shield battery. And uh, I already have all of these, so... All of them as epics as well, right? No, two epics, two rares. Mm. Okay, so we're going to add the shield cell to here. We're going to immediately equip the body shield, which takes my body armor up to 30 now. Lame! Um, all that work I did for nothing. I mean, all that work you did not getting ammo. I mean, technically you got 11 points still off you. I just got to... Still Bang you down for 30 me. again. Um, and then a shield battery. Um, I can't use the shield battery at the moment, but you know what I can do? It's, it's uh, yeah. What do I want to do? We'll drop it for, we'll drop it for, uh, Bloodhound to pick up. All right, that was my interact, and then I get a move. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to see where things are over here. Um, nothing is really in the position I need it to be. Hmm. That usually is the way, uh, considering you hid away from me so I couldn't see you for the entire last round. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Definitely hear you. Which, Don't. if you play the game, is, Sheer is actually doing a great job. She's hiding. There's no doors and things to open in this uh, as you would in the traditional, but hiding behind stuff is a good portion of the game. That's what you're supposed to do. So I may be giving her a hard time, but she's playing. Fantastic. We're going to be using a, cor a card for, um, so I have one move. Okay. Uh, which I will use it to move in here. And then I have a special action to use my last action point. I'm going to move three, which will allow me to do one, two, three. Uh, on this, it says you actually don't spin to move across obstacles. Is this an obstacle? I, well, it may not be. I That's don't think true. it's an obstacle. I think it's a wall, so it yeah. counts as different. Yep. But if it was an obstacle, you wouldn't have to spend the extra point to move across so, it. So, did I want to do that any differently? One. No. Okay. I need to get up high. Get to advantage point. Great. Um, that's I love that you wanted to do that. Bangalore's. Bangalore's turn. Fantastic. Um, Bangalore's not done quite yet. Um, Bangalore is going to put up one of her smoke launchers. So, mm. Bangalore's abilities has Rolling Thunder and Smoke Launcher. We're going to use the Smoke Launcher ability. We're going to have two On of them. On a one-spot space? Yeah. 
<sighs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna put it right along here. Okay. Um, and so we're gonna, it's a free action. You place it in a zero to three range. Um, okay. Actually, I could probably put it right here. And it will still extend up. Smoking. Um, mm -hmm. creates a new zone, duration for three. So this token, please put it three spots ahead. Okay, one, um, two, and three. And that gives a plus 10 penalty for anyone trying to shoot into that zone. So that gives me a little bit of a buffer. Except for the charge weapon. Except for that dumb charge weapon. Mm -hmm. Yep, all right. And now we're gonna pick this up, the shield battery. So Bloodhound picked up that shield battery. Okay. Um, Bloodhound is doing fantastic. 40 health and 40 shield. Ridiculous. Uh, and then we have another move. And now, how far? One, two, two times two. It's four. It's four. One, two, three, four. Four with insight. Yep. Um, and but I'm you not are standing... shooting through. Nope, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm behind it. It's a zone of four. One, two, three, four. Standing in the space right behind it. But you're shooting through it. Is it shooting through it? Read the card. Legends that shoot from, to, or through the smoke zone. Yeah. So you're hurting yourself by shooting through it. Yeah, but do I want to hurt you more? I mean, you can try. Or Go for it. should we have left this up here? You're still... Well, I guess you nope. wouldn't shoot through it there. Nope. So, yes. We're going to have Bangalore have left it up there. Okay. And we're going to shoot through Revisionist it. theory, I hear. We're going to shoot through at Gibby. Mm-hmm. All right. Yay! Bloodhound finally gets to shoot. Um, how many spaces away are we? One, two, three, four five, six, seven spaces away. Mm -hmm. That's not actually what I want. Because mm. um, Bangalore has the sniper weapon. Mm -hmm. So revisionist again, because that will make that weapon. Oh, wait, that weapon you, like you non-existent. So four, to five, four to five. Yeah. I'd have to have an additional 20. You're like, yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. So we're revising back to where we're we were Revising back to again. Uh, <laughs> we had moved okay. one, and now we still have two movement. Mm -hmm. What do we want to do? There's nothing we want to do. Well, how would you have shot if you moved anyway? Oh, you still have one movement left, is what you're saying, from interacting? Mm hmm Okay. I was standing here to pick, I picked it picked up, up, and then I took a step back. Gotcha, okay. And so I still have the move. Okay. One. Um, and we'll go in here. So we are in that smoke. Okay. Use the other two movements to hop over that obstacle. We're in that smoke line, and we're in a tight spot. All right, go. All right, and I can't see Bloodhound, and Bloodhound can't see me. Cool. All right, so Blue's Does turn. Does Bloodhound any of their abilities while we're thinking? Go ahead. <laughs> All right, uh, so the good news is I can see uh, good old Bangalore. Um, I could also use, I still could use my charge rifle. But everybody's all back up to full, right? Yeah. Lame. No. Not lame. Yes, very lame. Um, okay, so I'm going to use Gibby, and we're going to fire off here with the charge rifle, and then we're going to get out of the way. Uh, so, first things first, I am taking a shoot action with my charge rifle, and it really is limiting the number of ammo I have here. <laughs> it's, it's really less good. The charge rifle is amazing, but it's less good. All right, so uh, go ahead and shuffle up them cards. Are you going to do any enhanced shoot action or anything? Who are you shooting at, Bangalore? Or uh, before you shoot? Yes, I'm definitely shooting at Bangalore. Uh, I don't think so. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to take these amazing cards, cut them just in case you did anything silly. And here we go, a 50, an 80, and a 65. Cool, so that hits three times, so that'll be 21 damage. Amazing. And then we will shuffle these back up. And so to actually hit you, for the record, I have to do a 75. The zero, one, two, three, four, yeah, five, six. So Plus the smoke screen is Pushing into it, yeah, which is okay. 75. So the likelihood of that is pretty low, but you never know. We'll see what happens. And boom, that's a 20. So again, I fell, 
I got really good with the charge pot, yeah. but I just feel like the rest of it, not so much. Okay. Uh, I was really hoping I'd pull one of those cards that was an automatic hit. Uh, Alright, so Gibby is then for his next action going to move down here and stay out of the way. We so are going to use an after shoot. You're going to use an after shoot action? We are going to use an after shoot action. We are going to move three and um, potentially, or move one. Uh, move three. One, two, three. Okay, so you did that before I did this, just for the record. Because you have to do that after the shoot. Yeah. All right. Um, it still doesn't stop me from doing what I want to do, which is get away <laughs> from being hit by you. Um, and now, so one space, which brings it to a two. So we can see each other here, which is great. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away. All right. So the question is, do I chance it? with the sentinel which would do an amazing amount of damage because i could do a total of 60 points of damage right out of the gate if i can hit you with a headshot and i only have to pull oh okay math with me uh 15 off of 55 is 30 right mm -hmm. okay so no 15 is 40. 15 off of 55? 40. 40, yeah. yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do that because I have an extended sniper. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use all of my action points. What's your range? Uh, range is five or better. Um, the the sentinel one, one here. But are you using the optic? That usually has a range. Of eight. Okay. So we're good? Yep. Uh, and I have a, an extended sniper, so I'll actually be able to, to use- Two Two cards. shots, basically, so it'd be two cards. Uh, are you doing any before you should? Well, let me see if I'm doing any before enhancements or anything. Hmm. Um. Nope. I don't need the extra. Okay. Yeah, we are. You are? Okay. Yep. Yeah. You may place smoke launcher ability. I have two of them. So put this two spot, three spots ahead. And we're going to put a smoke launcher right here all right um and so ignore all half things and all head shots on cards um, and so now add another 10. 10 all right so that brings me to 50. yep that is less good Go. i didn't shuffle him and i use a uh shield cell to be able to do that but i will get a move one after this and you've taken off the ammo and I've taken off the ammo now. Because it only started with three and it's the first time I've shot it. Yep, perfect. Okay. Come on, 50. 70. Oh, I wish that headshot would have worked. All right, so one shot hits. So that is a total of 35. Yeah. You're very lucky because that would have been a very expensive hit otherwise. Um, ooh, he almost took me out. 35 minus 9. 35 minus 9 would be... Tw uh, I don't know. Can we do it the other way? Can we do add up this in there? So, because that would be a total of 48. No. Oh, um, it would be a total of 38. So I have 38, three. yeah. 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 38, yeah. I have a total of 3. 38 minus 35. Yeah, 3. That's way easier than the other way around. Why are you trying to make me do extra math? I'm already really bad at math. All right, and what's your... Three? That's all you have left? All I have left. Oh, that's so terrible. I'm so close to killing her, but now she's going to use a stupid shield cell. Yeah, but I have down of 20. Yeah, but see, at least I could force that to happen. Okay. Oh, it's very frustrating. All right, I get to move one, and then I'm going to drop a card so I can move another one. Uh, let's see here. What card am I dropping? And where are you moving? I am going to move back here. Why do you have a move of one? Because with that special action you get mm -hmm. a move one. Oh, you use both action points. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I'm going to use this as an after I shoot. 
and move two. So that pulls me here and here. Okay. That's the end of my turn. It is now red turn. Yeah. I'm well hidden. You are well hidden. Red. So, Bangalore is going to use a... Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix kid is actually helpful. Yeah, 20 and 20. Lame. So, one, two, and one, two. Um, and so probably a syringe as well to go up another 15 to 38. So that's two of your uses, so you just have two moves now. Gotcha. I can't get anywhere where I can see you either, so, yep, yeah, that's fine. So just hanging out um, in the, in the spot, hey? We'll do the move right around here. Okay. Uh, which makes me farther farther away from the edge, I believe. Because um, when does that... This is the... This is That's number the two. second one. So that one goes until your next turn. Until it starts at the next turn. Yep. yep. And then... Alright. We're semi-live right there. And... Now... What is Bloodhound going to do? Bloodhound is intrigued. Bloodhound is going to put on his beast of the hunt. Their beast of the hunt. Okay. Free action. Um, attach an ability token to Bloodhound. Bloodhound now has that. Um, for each move two, they gain an extra move. When they shoot, they apply minus 10 bonus and it remains in effect until Bloodhound interacts with something or Correct. loses something. And so one, let's see. I want to be where I can see you. Mm-hmm. One, two, and they would get another move, but that wouldn't be enough. Right. Um, unless I discard a card from their hand. Um, I don't know where you're going to go to be able to see me. I can see right here. Along a nine, 45 oh, degree. you're trying to see him. Got it. Gibby. Yeah. Gotcha. I was thinking you were looking at Wraith. No. I was excited because then you were like, yeah, you're going to move me closer so I can no. murderize you. No. Hmm. Um... So, we are going to do this special action. So, the first move, the first action point is going to be a move two. Okay. One, two. And then plus one for your... Plus one, but the one can't take me up. Okay. So then you're just wasting that one. Just wasting that one. And okay. This is going to be a move two. A move two. Um, and technically, I... Cannot see me. I can see you. It's you have degree. to be on the other side of that. I still have an extra move. Yeah. With the move too. Now you're good. Now I shoot. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna shoot. Um. Oh, I guess technically you could have seen me from there because it's 45. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, you could see me from there. Yeah. Do you want to move to there? No. No. Okay. I don't feel strong need to. Okay. Um. But if I move here, then one, two, two away. That might be better. Ooh, forward one. Okay. Um, and yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna use our shotgun, which is a range of one, two, two. Um, and so we have a minus ten. Um, with our fantastic beast of the hunt. So that means you only need a 35 to hit, yep. but you actually only need a 30 to hit because of this. Yep. Wow. And you Total get damage. to pull two cards. two cards. All right. So... Mm, Doing yeah. anything? No. I probably should, but no. Okay. All right. All right. What One. you got? That's a hit. Two. And that's a hit. Cool. So that will be a total of 24 points of damage on to Master Gibby here. So that pulls zero down to there, and then I get a 36 total health now. Making progress. Yes, chipping away, chipping away. Let's go the other way around, that's faster. Okay. All right. I don't still get to save that one move, technically, sadly. I wish. Mm. Uh, are you, is that your turn? My turn. Great. This goes away, and this goes on cooldown for you. 
Okay. Okay. And now it is my turn. So, what do we do first? What do we do first? I believe the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a card to step out here. Uh, Are you trying to shoot at Bloodhound? Yes, I'm definitely trying to shoot at Bloodhound. So technically this blink card, I could do exactly what I'm doing and use it and it does it's not Special a Special action, one action point. Place so, your legend in a space, one to three, and then move one. Yep. So I'm good with just using it as a rush move, but I could use it and do exactly what I'm doing right now anyway. So. You do not need your two action points to shoot? I am not using it. I'm discarding. Okay. So, and we could use it as a free, okay. as, I, as this action. So I'm using shot. both of my two action points as a shot. So that will be taking off this one here as soon as I do that. And we're going to use my sentinel again. Range of one, two, three, four. Yep. So that's a uh, negative of one. Uh, so it'll be a 65 to hit, but I have the uh, range focus thing. So that takes it, and it's a range of four is all I need. It takes it down 15. So it means I only need a 50 to hit. Are you doing any before you shoot cards? No. Okay. Okay, and I get two shots here, and come on, headshot, because boy, that would be amazing. Come on, headshots. Come on, headshots. Oh, man. Oh. Don't even get it, because you're upwind. That's terrible. All right, so this says it's not a hit at all. Even though that technically would be an amazing hit, because I'm below uh, them, I end up, it's a complete miss. Wow, that's horrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. <sighs> Fine. Um, wow, that's terrible. Okay. Now, uh, Gibby's gonna shoot. Did you finish? Did you have any action points? No, because he used both of them to okay. do that shot. Man, that's frustrating. All right, now Gibby's gonna shoot. Uh, let's see here. All right. Um, we are going to use, do I use, I can't, I could use my charge rifle, which would be nice, or I could use my peacekeeper, and I'm a range of two, and then it would be a hit of 40 or better, hmm, and that would potentially give me 24 off of you, but you're like a bajillion health. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, do I have anything exciting? Hopefully not. Um, I could do a move of three. So this here is interesting. I could do a move of three, and then I could spend one movement point to push an adjacent enemy one space away and follow them, uh, deal 12 points on collision, but you're not colliding with anything. Um, but push ends this move. So I could just like shove you basically. But you're not going to collide against anything. Correct. So I feel like the best option for me is to probably use my charge rifle uh, and potentially get more shots. So let's do that. All right, uh, I'm going to aim to shoot at you. Uh, so charge rifle, are you doing any before you shoot actions? Nope. All right. So... We're gonna do that. Here we go. Cut the deck. Looking for three. Looking for 45s. 45, 55, 65. Wow! That means that is charge a total. Charge rifle? Of, yeah, the charge rifle up here. Oh, I thought you were shooting with the shotgun. No, no, no. I'm using the charge rifle. Okay. So that is a total of 45 damage. Why is it 45 damage? Or sorry, not 45. It's I apologize. 21. 21. 21 is still a lot, Shira. It maybe, is a lot. We feel good about 21, okay? It is a lot, but 45 would have taken my shield entirely away. I like that. It's a much better idea. 
No, no? shields don't go away. All right, and the bad news is, is that this one is going to be 30 higher, so that puts it at a 95. Yeah, which, which I don't think there's even one in this. I think the highest is like 80. I'm pretty sure the highest is 80 so as well. Go for it. So here we go. Oh, it didn't hit. <laughs> That's unfortunate. All right. Um, okay, so with those away, I did, did my ammo. Uh, now I'm going to run like the wind because the shield is closing in. Uh, so I'm going to use and bring my uh, shield back up. I'm adding 15 to my shield and then I'm going to move for one. Uh, okay. Move for one. Where am I moving for one to? I'm going to move for one I'm going to drop a card so I can go up top and at least have a little bit of height advantage. Uh, which card am I going to drop? Uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to drop this. Yeah, I'm dropping this card and getting an extra movement point so I can get up here. Cool. All right, uh, that is the end of the round. So that pushes, and now everything's closing in. So the close in looks like this. So we have three coming down this way. So one, two, and three. So now everything is cut off there. Can you grab that one and pull it down? One, two, three. Great, and now everything's coming in to yeah, this direction. Yeah, I know, I'm getting hit. One, one, two. Yep. Um, one, two, and I take, what's the damage? And it comes one in this way as well. Uh, the damage is a total of ten. Okay. So you're going to take ten points of damage there. Um, I believe that damage surpasses any shields. I'll just go straight to your health. That sounds like it should, yes. Okay. And just for the record, the next time it is going to come in again. Three this direction, two, two this direction, and one that way. Literally the exact same card. That's amazing. Did you put it back in shuffle? I did not put it back in shuffle. I, mean, I don't think it would have helped if it's the exact same card. I mean, it's the exact same card anyway. Put it back in shuffle, so, sadly. Yeah. Okay. So that is what's going to happen again the next time, which is in three turns. Alrighty. Alright, and now it is your turn, and the other smoke shield is gone. Yeah. So you can put that on cooldown as well. Um, but this moves down because we're it passing a cooldown. It does move down, yep. Alright. And the shield comes off. Um, we gotta get out of here. Where do we want to go? Um, ooh, fine. So this is now along this side. We're mm -hmm. gonna do one, two. Okay. We're inside the zone now. Yep. We're gonna shoot a Gibby. A bloodhound. What? You wanted to shoot a bloodhound? That was what I was hearing you say. <laughs> No. no? Are you sure? <laughs> no. I feel like power. you should shoot a bloodhound. All right. So, how many spaces? One, One two, two, three, three four, five, six, six seven. Seven. So, my better range is not... Is it really, is it really that far away? Yeah. One, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jeez. Fine. So, that's not going to take into effect right now. Okay. Um, but we are still going to use that sniper. We are going to discard. Uh, we can't do that right now because we already used an action point to move. So never mind. We're just doing a regular sniper. All um, right. One card, discarding an ammo. And I don't think I have anything to uh, do here. Oh, don't forget, we we'll draw a card. Hmm. Let me draw a card, see if I have any um, better abilities that would help right now. Um, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay is a good thing. Yeah. So right now I'm assuming you're using the Sentinel, correct? Using the Sentinel, yeah. All right, so that would be a maximum damage of 32. 22. Why 32? If you hit with a... 34. 34, yep. I'm neither number you were. That's why I told you I'm not great at math, Shira. Yeah. Um, should we take the shot? Yeah, we're doing an enhanced shoot card. 
All right, what's your enhanced shoot? Um, aim cards with a half thing counts as hit. Ignore smoke's effects. Okay. So just in case the card we draw has a half shield. Mm -hmm. Would love to hit. And are you pulling just one card or two? One card. Just one? Okay. Yeah. I, I'm not going to do anything then. Okay. Come on, bad card. 75. Uh, all right. 22 so damage. 22 damage. All right. Plus four because I have a sniper stock. So 26 damage. 26 damage. Okay. So let's see here. That would be an additional... 11. 11 points of damage. Okay. All right. Which takes me down to 30... Or 25. After my shield is set there. Okay. That's the end of Bangalore's turn. Yes, it is the end of Bangalore's turn. Um, don't have any of my smoke things. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what's your health at? Let's see. 25. And the other one? 30 and 40, full health. Oof. Yeah. So if you're going to hit someone... Wraith has done nothing. Nothing. Wraith has hit a whole Wraith bunch has, of people. Wraith has hit lots of stuff. Yeah, she's shot a lot. I believe I am one and one, so we're within line of sight, because you did not move out yeah. of the way. Mm-hmm. Um... How many spots away are we? One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's within range. We're gonna do it. We're gonna aim, because otherwise we're one, two away, but there's the downwind and I need that shotgun. I wanna use my marksman. Yeah, we're aiming at Wraith right now. Okay. Um, we have stability plus two. Um, we have a range from minus 15, so I need a 40 and it's plus two damage. All right. And it's three cards. So you need a 40. And you're getting plus five on both of those. So you'll actually, for the the first two shots, you're going to get, you'll only need a 35. Yep. Uh, all right. So let me look at this because, wow, that is scary. Oh, so now, now, now we're finally on the defensive? Uh, maybe. Um, I don't have a before you shoot do? team action. So, yeah, uh, this might be really bad for Wraith. Okay. Three cards. Okay. One. That's a hit. Two. That's a hit with a death. Three. Oh. That's a hit. Gracious. Threes. So. Gracious. Um, three hits. Um, we use this. So it's a base of 10. So it's 30, two headshots, 40 health. All right. So 40 health go away. So that takes off all of her shield and 10 of her health. That was effective. It was very effective. My goodness. Wow. All right. And what are you doing um, with your last once. two? And, oh, what do we want to do? We want to do a lot. Yeah? Yeah. It's usually the best thing to do. Oh, and we were shooting with, we were shooting, I have a minus 10 bonus also. Yeah, you still hit no matter what. what? So, <laughs> just say, you don't have to make it any better. You shot up and you, they're all in the size shot, of a quarter. And I did extra shots. Right, you did so uh, good. What does Gibby have? What type of weapons? A five plus and a one to two? Mm-hmm. Um. Hmm. Mm hmm Yep, yep. We're going to do one, two, three. All right. We are out of the way. Um, we might, we are going to try and do this effect before we moved. We were up here, mm -hmm. and we are within a range of one to three. We're going to apply our ravens. Duration of three. Can you please put this on the track? Okay. Um, Tatter raven to an enemy within a range of one to three. So this is going to travel with you Okay. now. I don't know how it attaches to the enemy. Uh, when a legend from your team performs a shoot action against the enemy that has a raven attached, ignore any low walls and any up aim. Um, cards and all hit threshold penalties except range. Cool. So, uh, we can figure it out. It's fine. Just leave it next to it. One, two, and we're down there. Okay. Beacon, beacon. Yeah. Gibby, gibby. That's correct. All right. So that is the end of your turn. That is the end of my turn. All right. So how much health does? All right. Bengal has twenty and twenty-eight. All right. So first things first, we need to shoot you and hurt you <laughs> badly. <laughs> Because you did bad things to my team, and I don't appreciate it. No, pitch bosh applesauce. Um, so, let's see here. Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? All right. Uh, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my charged rifle at 
Uh, Bangalore. Your one, my two, eye, three, four, I don't think five, my eye is six, uh, seven, eight. I don't think me using my eye negates my. Do we think? Is it an ability? Use an item or interact. I don't think this is a mm -hmm. use an item or interact. Okay. I'll no, just clarify. Still I'm still beasty. Yep. All right. So Gibby is going to shoot, um, which I think is very important. I don't think so. Yeah. So he's definitely going to shoot. Uh, let's grab those cards. What, are you doing any you before shooting? shoot actions? I only can see one, so I'm shooting Bangalore. Okay. Well, I thought maybe you might want to um, come forward. Yeah. Yeah. Bangalore. Before shoot team mm -hmm. is going to allow... Um, I don't want to, because that's wasteful. Yeah. It's wasteful. You know I'm going to shoot him again, or shoot her again, so, you know, you could use that later. I know, exactly. We'll save it. Yeah. Before shoot. Okay. Need more cards. Go. Mm -hmm. Go for it. So, here we go. Going to pull three cards with my charge rifle. Oh, I only have one ammo left in that thing. Whew. It's like someone took all the ammo. No, no one did. 80. Uh, Ah, but they, and these parts don't count. So nope. it's only uh, one hit, so that's seven points of damage. All okay. right, give me that 80 again. Ah, 40, lame. Okay, so the other one doesn't hit. Yeah. Lame. All right, uh, now what am I gonna do? So now I'm going to use my do I, I need to use the dome, I feel like, or not? I don't know. Hmm. I could use my dome, which what this does is it places out the dome of protection, and it creates a zone, and it lasts for three uh, duration, which basically means nothing can shoot into it or shoot out of it. Um, mm, there's going to be drones in the final version? That's so dope! Yep. Legends outside the zone can't seat see shoot or, to or through the zone yeah and ordinances can't go in it either it's ordinance like uh these things that you have your your tactical weapon the bombardment thing okay mm, uh so they they won't hurt it either uh so i think i'm gonna do that put it into effect yep build it i'm gonna build it Where are you uh let's it? see i can throw it up to three away so that'll be one two and three so I could put it there. Where does the thing come in? It goes in three. One, two, and three. Ugh. <laughs> One, two. Okay, so it's right there. So I could put it right there and still be safe. Mm. One, two, three. So that will... It's still... Yeah. Uh, we don't have to worry about the shield thing coming in for a bit yet. So I think I'm going to set it... Set it and forget it, right? Set it and forget it. Okay. I'm going to set it here. And I'm going to build my dome of protection. Right here. So you took a move action? Yes. One move action to there. My dome of protection is here. And I'm just going to be standing right here. And whatever, the raven's with me, but you can't hit me <laughs> anyway. So, nan, nanny, boo, boo, stick your head in doo-doo. You can't hit either, though. I, not you... from inside, unless I step out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, that is my action. And uh, my dome is up, ready to go. And I feel super good about it. I'm not going to die. Okay. Um, now, can... Do -do 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 -do. Nope, I have to step out to be able to see you. Shuck sauce. I want to do better. Um, yeah, I tried that. And you're not one or three away. Can I enter your dome of protection? Yeah, we can Push. fight inside of it. I can punch. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can technically shoot inside the dome. Can you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't save you specifically in that way. So, technically speaking then, because I forgot about that, <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of revisionist theory here. <laughs> it's okay, I had one of those I'm going to go ahead and add in uh, one of my charge packs here and give myself about 15 the, more health. Putting the dome up is free? 
Yeah, it's a free action. Did you have enough action points to move and it use an item? Yeah, I only Shot. moved once. I was right here, moved down to there. Okay. You used it, um, and your and your weapon that you shot didn't use two action points, correct? No. Only the Sentinel can do that. Okay, so let's see. Can I do anything else? I really want to just get closer, but I'm so far away, and I really want to shoot with the super strong shooty shoot, but I'm also low. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to move here. Yeah. No. I'm going to move here and interact with this thing. <laughs> because I don't want that to run away from me and then end up <laughs> not getting it eventually. So there, that's done. I'm grabbing a... Two epics. A weapon ammo and here. one ammo. Yep. Two epics, huh? Yeah. Who'd right. you put the ammo on? On her. Which, like, which weapon? On the one? Sentinel, yeah. They both shoot pretty far. But I put it there. And technically they're both the same, so I could move them around if I wanted to. Uh, great. I got a stock that I can't use. And I got an upgraded uh, shield, so that's nice. Um, knockout shield? Yeah, upgraded knockout shield, so that goes away. Uh, this stays here because I can't use it. And neither can Gibby. So, What yeah. is it? A standard stock? Yeah, you don't need to see it. Just leave it alone. I can't use it you either. You can't use so... it either, so... <laughs> <laughs> wow, we are a little petty here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's almost like taking cheap shots in the beginning of the game. I didn't, end. They weren't cheap. They, they were, were fantastic shots. They were very shots. expensive. Right they were very expensive right, and wonderful. Go. Okay, um, I feel like I shouldn't do anything right now because I, I can't... Like, I could drop a card and then shoot at you, but I still like I could see you from you here. Can't. You have to be. You have to be. Here. Yeah, I'm from right here. Um, can you? If I'm here, I can see you. What's? Yeah, I can see you from here. Yeah. Yep. Line of sight from there, so I can drop a card. Oh, I'm, lo I'm dropping all these cards, man. Scary. I don't like dropping cards like that. I like having to force you to drop cards. And now you can see me, of course, which is less good, but whatever. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my chances. Um, how much health do you have? Uh, thirteen and twenty eight. All right, so I can shoot my charge rifle, and that's what we're gonna do. So we're shooting the charge rifle. Are you doing any before what's you shoot? What's the range? How far are we? Um, I'm doing an enhanced shoot, by the way. You shoot deals plus two, but that doesn't count towards the the passive ability. It doesn't count towards the passive ability. And if you have. 30 or less, which I do. Aim cards, would that count as hit? Mm hmm What's that? Health? With, okay. Yeah, 30, 30 health. health. Yep. Um, no. Okay. All right, so for the first part, we're going to do the three cards, because that's amazing, and I love this weapon, and it everyone should have one. Why can I not shuffle? Yeah, be careful. We have to see that. Okay. Then you're going to be very disadvantaged with the... One, two, three. Two so, hits. two 14. hits. Fourteen. All right. Now, for the record. Yeah. With my charge shot, I am plenty far away. So, 65 is where we're starting. Uh, I have, because I am, we're less than eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're eight spaces away. I get negative 15. So that brings me down to 50, and uh, half cards count. Because it was, how does it bring you? 15. Which one, you're using your charge rifle? Charge rifle, 15. 65, the range is 5 plus, get back. Yep. All right, and I only still get one shot, unfortunately. Huh. <sighs> Missed. Five points. The one time that I could possibly do something amazing Five points. That was a royal miss, um, but I am going what? to play an after shoot ability. I can choose one, either move three or move one and use a common consumable. Um, do you have any more action points? With, uh, do you no. Have with Wraith? That was it, because I had to use a card to move out there and I interacted with that. Because so that will determine where I want to be. One, 
two, three, four, five. Where do we want to be? We want to be there. We do want to be there. So, three, one, two, three. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> What's the next round? Next round, here we go. It is now Red's turn, so you're up. Oh, yeah. Okay. So exciting. What are you counting? <laughs> if that affects you? Hopeful that I could get a little bit closer. Doesn't it? One, two, three? No, no, no. I was call checking for another card that I thought I had. Like, what's this What's this area of effect? Just the four. Just the four? Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Um, so it doesn't... I, I can shoot through it. Now, we are one, two, three. Three, four, five spaces away. Five spaces away. Yeah, we're going to use a shield cell. We're using our sniper. We're going all out here. Do you want to do anything? No, I don't have anything to do. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is really bad for, for Wraith right now. Okay. Um, so we took off the shield cell that we're going to use. It's a special action. Cost. Wait, hold on. I forgot. One of our special abilities has a before shoot action. Before shoot, after first shot. shot. So you're going to use two cards though, right? Nope, one no, Just card. one? All right, never mind. Uh, so. And you're using both of your abilities for that. One, two. So technically, if you hit me, it's death. Because no, it'll be a 35. Not death. And that kills me. Not death. So it doesn't matter. I'm not going to use this yet. Okay. So we're using my Sentinel Sniper. I already took off the ammo. I already took off the shield cell. We're doing the special two action. Shoot with 35 and 25. And then I have a move one afterwards, which I, I don't think will be helpful. Oh, it might. Okay. Um, I have plus four damage, four to five, minus 15. So I need a 40 to hit. <sighs> Lame. What? <laughs> Lame. It can still miss. I'm just not going to miss. A 40? That's like two thirds of the cards. Come no. on, 20s. 20s Come and 30s. Come on, 20s. I hate this. There's 20s and 30s so in terrifying. there. So terrifying. Please, please, please. Please let me knock him don't out. Don't kill Wraith already. She's very squishy, though. She's always been uh, squishy. Do you want to cut the deck? Yes. Draw the card. Cut the deck. Draw the card. Here it is. Huh. Oh, and, and it's, it's a, a headshot, headshot too. Oh, booyah. Man. All right. So she dies. Good job. Congratulations. Over death. Because you had a knock. Over Didn't death. you have a knockout? What do you mean? Don't you have a knockdown Oh, wait. Shield? I do have a knockdown shield. So. So wait. Okay. So that brings me this. to 50. And that does more than 50, right? This is 64 yeah. damage. So everything <laughs> popped. Oh, wait. I do have this. Hold on. Okay. This ignores that, so it ignores the extra damage, so it's only 35. It was one less than or equal to 50, a headshot. My headshot but was 70. The headshot, it ignores the headshot, so it ignores the extra damage. So it ignores the 25. Okay. 35, you get 39 damage. Still 39 35 damage? 35 okay. 4. So that means that uh, I still have 11 points of health left because my knockdown shield activated. Whew! <laughs> So this is down to zero, and I have 11 points of shield left. Just 11 shield? 11 shield. That's all I got. All right. So she's still alive. Give me that token back. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That changes things. Okay. <coughs> so I have a move one. We're moving run right in here. Because mm -hmm. that will cause you to have to move, because now we are not in line of sight. Now it is going to be Bloodhound's turn. Bloodhound has his their move of three. One, you can move through players. Two, three. But you had to move over that obstacle. I did have to move over that obstacle. <sighs> so. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three, four away. Four away. All right, we're shooting with our GZ Scout. All right, now I am 1,000% using this uh, before shoot action. So your first shot is the only one that's going to count because after that I am moving the heck out of the way. If you are out of, and you'll move out of the way. <laughs> yes. So just letting you know, you get one shot. Okay. You get one shot. So something to the best you can. I can't. I'm not Eminem. Sorry. Okay. All right. So that means that you're going to be a 55 minus 15, so you're going to be a 30. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plus, you're going to have stability of 2, so you only need 25. Yeah, there's no way you're missing. Did you hear all the things I just counted for I you? I did. Um, you just need a 25. The only thing that is like Which 20s. comes first? Enhanced shoots or before shoots? 
So you have to say what you're going to do first. Okay. Technically. So I look at the little rundown thing. Should, that should tell you. Because I think it's before shoots and then I think enhances you after. You may play one enhanced shoot. So I am going to play okay. an enhanced shoot. Um, enemy cannot play before shoot reactions. This isn't a before shoot. Oh, it is. Okay. So, all right. I needed to play that. Yep. Um, okay. Now you, you won't literally dash. still need a twenty-five. So I know, but if you, but it, but my only my damage is only ten. Even if like unless I got a headshot, I would have only dealt mm. fifteen damage, and you have eleven. And so I need more than one shot to hit me. To gotcha. Hit, right? Because you're at. I'm 11. at eleven. Yeah, and so my plus two only gave me ten. Ah, oh, I see what you're saying. So okay. uh, taking this out, if you moved out of the way and I didn't get a headshot, then I wouldn't take you out. Gotcha. And so. We would like to take the thine out. All right, mm -hmm. first shot. It's three cards, plus two, one, two. Yeah, you killed me. Three. Good job. Very nicely done, Miss Shira. I needed a forty. Oh, I still have my M forty thirty. Yeah. I literally told you all you needed was a twenty-five. I, had to listen to I the said it like five did times. Did you listen? I'm like, no, I did not listen to your calculations. Evan, back up and listen to like just replay thing and make it so that Shira can hear how many times I told her she just needed a twenty-five. Not twenty-five, thirty. A twenty-five. Why? Because you have so 15, 15 that's off. 40, and then I have 10 off. Like yeah, so you take 30. 25 off of that. So a 30. Okay, so I'm still math poorly, but a 30 <laughs> is still a lot. All right. All right. Well done, Ms. Sherry. Wraith comes off the board immediately. Yep. Um, and I use my move, and I've shot in. All right. My turn is over. You have shot in? I've shot in. Shot in. Yes. Okay. Okay, give me. Shot in. All right. Well, not necessarily. She can come in, or Ray yeah. could come in if she wanted to. Yeah. Where's Ray coming in? So here's the thing. You're supposed to come in by the closest one. That's outside of the bounds. So I... this is the closest one. I would say that one's the closest one. You gotta take damage. That seems unfair. Fine. I'll let you go to this one. We'll ask the designers if the yeah. closest one happens to be outside the zone at that point. I mean, I guess technically. I could pop down here. What does that mean? I could move Gibby, and then this would be closer. Yeah. So let's do that just to be on the safe side. <clears throat> so, uh, what are we going to do here? Gibby, my friend. We are going to... Okay, so that's a move two to get to the edge, drop a card. Oh, what, what activates right now? That eyesight? Uh, yeah, so the, the raven is gone. And there's your um, cooldown token. Thank you. And that's, uh, sorry. I don't, you're grabbing in a weird way. I was. I was looking at <laughs> you're, you're like claw this. grabbing it. I'm like, I'm trying to give it. Go. I don't know. Alrighty. All right, here we go. Uh, so I need to drop a card here because, let's see, I could spend AP to push. I could push. Or I could ignore dumb and production effects. Um, hmm. I like all of those cards. So I'm probably going to say the push one is the one I'm getting rid of. All right, so I'm dropping this card. I'm going to move Gibby uh, three spaces. And Hi! Wow, we're so... Then... Then... So close. We are very close. Um, which allows me to use my Peacekeeper well. What's Bloodhound at? A lot and a 19 lot? 19 and 40. Great. <laughs> um, so what you're saying is a lot and a lot. Good. Uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and use my peacekeeper. We're going to, I'm going to shoot them. Um, <clears throat> at this distance, because of my effects, I will need a, I'm not doing any enhanced actions. Are you? No, I'm not. Before shoots? Okay. Not. All right. So therefore, I am going to do, I need to draw two cards in the same slot, hitting at 40. Okay. Here. Okay. You're using a shotgun? Peacekeeper? Using my peacekeeper, yep. Do you have any modifications? Yes. Down. That's why it's down 40 to 40. And damage plus will be... 2 damage. Okay. Here is my ammo. Okay. An 80 and a 35, which is not a 40. Correct. Man. So one hit. One hit for, for a total of 14. Okay. Alright. And I got rid of my team one, which really sucks. Okay, 
So now this is definitely the closest one. Can so pop Wraith in. pops in here in the adjacent location. And oh, what is she gonna do? I feel like she really needs to be better. Um, come on Wraith, think harder. <laughs> uh, all right, so she's got a free action. Place your legend in a space adjacent to that legend. Chosen legend was an enemy. Deal four damage to them. She's gonna pop into my location? Um, she's not close enough to do that, unfortunately. She's just a little bit too far away. Good. But it is a free action. So here's an interesting thing. Ah, she can't do enough damage to really do anything bad. Uh, but who can she see? She can see no one from her location. Fantastic. Wraith, you suck. <laughs> Let's try to get over here. Can she see anyone from here? Yes, she can see Bloodhound from here. Bloodhound? Yep. Alright, so she's gonna spend... How far away are we? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect! Charge rifle away! Okay. Are you doing any before shoot actions? Shooting at Bloodhound? Yep. No. Okay. Oh, wait. That puts me outside the bounds. I can't do that. <laughs> that would be 10 points of damage. It feels like that's an ineffective opportunity. I mean, I guess I could. I could just take the 10 points of damage. And then move inside after, which is worth it. But I would be sitting outside. So the question is, that damage is going to happen because we take the damage here. Yeah. So, And then in the next round, I would then get have a chance to get out of it. So is it worth 10 points of damage to potentially hit you a little? It's worth it. Let's do it. Why? Are you trying to do something that will require both action points? No, I only get one because I have oh, lost have the to... other. <laughs> so it, that's all I get. Because I can't... I mean, okay. I guess I could rush if I really wanted to. <laughs> so here's what we're going to... I've, I've got a you plan. You know those like, walls like when they like do like the yeah. like, shifty... Yep, you're, you're definitely out. hurting yourself. <laughs> Okay, um, so here's what we're going to do. I've got a plan for this. It's totally fine. So I, I'm burning as I'm standing here. Uh, <laughs> I am going to use my charge rifle, shooting a Bloodhound. Bloodhound's Shuffle not going to do anything about it. Shuffle cut. Okay, here we go. One, two, and three. All right, two. so 14 points of damage. And then, so to hit you now, I need a 50 because of the upgrade that I have on the weapon. Come on, 50. Hey, there nice. we go. All right, so that'll be 17 points of damage. Okay, 31 minus one is 30, and then there's 16 <laughs> points more of damage. That's correct, so, so 20, 26? No. No, 24. No, so, no. 14. Stop throwing out numbers! <laughs> 16 points, 30 goes down to 20, then there's 6 more points, so now it's 14. You finally got there, but I got you there. your maths are awful. I just try a couple of times yeah. and I'll eventually get it. You throw enough numbers out there, it's like a monkey hitting a, a typewriter. What are you throwing down? Uh, so here, I'm going to do this as a free action. I can choose a legend within 1 to 3 spaces of me and move adjacent to that legend. And Gibby is 3 spaces away from me, <laughs> so I'm going to hide behind Gibby. Good job. Although I guess technically uh, I could get in front of Gibby if I wanted to, and I have more health than he does. So here, we're gonna, no, that's really dumb because then I could get hit by both of them. You at least have to move to hit me. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Fantastic. I'm now not taking damage. Wonderful. Uh, we get, so we get to move we get down cards. things. I get one of these back. Yay. This moves down. We get cards, which is really necessary at this moment. I disagree with your necessary because um, I feel like pound. you've been doing just fine. Bangalore. Um, all right. All right. And Bloodhound only has like 19 left, but still has a charge shield 14. of at least 10, right? 10, yep. Okay. And we're not even going to talk about your other friend over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gibby, what's Gibby at? Uh, Gibby stuff. is at 15 and 25. Yeah, all right. Um,. We're two shots away. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, 15 and 25. So what are you going to do, Shira? I know. I don't like you being this close. I love being this close because it really negates a lot of your weapons. It also negates all of Wraith's weapons because she's supposed to be five away for both. 
So we're stepping forward. Okay. One. Yep. Are you gonna punch me in the face? No, we're gonna use my shotgun. You're gonna use the shotgun. Okay. Um, deck of cards. They're right next to you. Bangalore. Are you doing any before shoot actions? Mm. How many cards do you have left to drop from your decks? Um, I have one card for Wraith and one card for Gibby. Okay, I think Bloodhound didn't draw up at one point because I have two cards. Okay. Um, because I also have one card left for Bangalore. Um, Bangalore. Ye ye ye. What, what am I shooting with? Are you doing before shoots? I know. I'm looking at what I'm shooting with. Okay. Um, is, is Gibby wearing a helmet? Gibby is wearing a helmet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're doing a before shoot ability. Okay. Each shoot does plus two damage. Ignore the target's helmet effect. Cool. I'm going to play this card and ignore aim cards that have uh, the helmet thingy. Do they cancel each other out? They don't. It, it, all it says is that you don't, you still get is a hit, but it, you just don't get the additional damage. But mine ignore your helmet's effect, which would Which would be that. ignoring this helmet effect. I'm not going to use it because I don't need to because I'm taking headshots out okay. of the game. And it also prevents 10 damage. Yeah. Fine. That's fine. Gibby, go for it. Okay. All right. Now we are shooting with this shotgun. Take off an ammo. Um, one range away. Two by two. Um, 45 range. Okay. 45 for a hit. 45 for a hit. Okay. 45 yep. for a hit. Um, and, and an extra four. Two. So. One. Oof. Yep. Two. All right, so you one. get one hit, two hits, two, two hits. Um, yes, two hits right. at Nine eleven damage. apiece. Four plus seven. Oh, eleven. Okay. And then I added two, so thirteen apiece. Thirteen apiece. Twenty-six. So it'd be damage. twenty-six minus ten, sixteen. Not as good. So that took all my shield down and one point of my health away. Okay. Ah. Uh, Okay, and then now it's Bloodhound's turn. Mm -hmm. Bloodhound, you, you really gotta do stuff. Um, oh, I should have done that before I moved in the way. Oh well, can't change that. Um, where are we at? One, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> Can I run over here? I just want I mean, to you be still have farther. your beast on. I still want to be farther away from you. All right. So if you do that and you get rid of a card, because you can move three now, right? I could. I don't want to. And you get rid to. of a card, then you're in a good place. Okay, we're jumping up. One. We're aiming down. Okay. We're using our shotgun. All right. Um, you using a before card? Um, let's check. What hand are we using a before card? Um... That one's really nasty. Bloodhound shotgun is way better. The what? Oh no, it's not. Sorry. The peacekeeper? Yeah. You have the peacekeeper. Your peacekeeper is fine. It's the, uh, yeah, the other shotgun. Yeah, I am. Is nasty. Okay, what are you doing? Choose a space in eyesight. You may shoot a target adjacent to that space. I'm choosing this space, which is in my eyesight, and I'm shooting a target adjacent in that space. The target cannot play before shoot reactions. Lame. Should have played it before. I mean, I, mine comes first. <laughs> I know I should have played this card on the last one. All right, that we're sucks. using the peacekeeper. Um, so a forty-five, and we're drawing one by two. One, two. Oh wow! Wow, I'm pretty sure that sixteen plus him. sixteen is thirty-two damage. All right, so the good news is I still have. You're dumb. So I get this, so I get to negate one of that. Okay. So, so that that's less than off. four. 16 to 32, four off, yeah. so 28 damage. All right, and let's see, 28 damage. So <laughs> that is going to pop this. Does this just this. come off? Yeah. It, like, it's damage, it comes away? It's gone, yeah. All right, so 20, is that a total of 28 then? Mm hmm All right, so that means I have six points of shield left because I popped my, uh, my knockdown. Okay. And zero health. Whew, this game's almost over, Shira. You're killing me here. I'm terrible. I told you I'm terrible at this game, but I love it. It's so fun. I know. All right. 
so now it is Blue's turn. Um, what to do, what to do. Um, I think the important thing to do here is... Rich should set up her green shield. Terribly. Uh, well, we've got our Peacekeeper, so we can shoot some stuff. What does uh, Bangalore have health-wise? Bloodhound? Bangalore. Bangalore is 27. Uh -huh. All right, and Bloodhound is at 14. 14. Yep. All right, so she's got 27. They have 14. <sighs> All right, so here we go. Two to hop Hi, up there. Hi, how are you? And I'm actually going to drop a card so that I could use an item as well, because otherwise I'm just going to kill myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> what does that mean? <sighs> I have to get rid of something here. Uh, all right, so I'm going to get rid of this card. Because if I just move two and then get up there with you, then I'm shooting, <laughs> and then if I don't kill you, then you will kill me, and that will be the end of the game. So, let's be semi-smart about this, and I'm going to do a health putt here for 25 as a use action during that. So that brings me up a little bit so more. use a card to add to the other move so that you can use an item. Correct. Okay. All right, because it takes two to get up onto the wall. Now, for my next action... I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot you in the face with a peacekeeper. And let's see if I if I get a headshot twice, <laughs> which is never gonna happen. Alright, are you doing any before shoot actions? Wait, let me see if there's anything I'm gonna do before shoot. I'm What are you shooting with? My peacekeeper. Your peacekeeper? Um when it, it says one card times two, yeah. is the second card a second shot? It's in the same spot. So if it but says... Terminology wise, so after the first shot. That is still the first shot. Okay. So then, no, we're not playing anything. So this is the first shot, second shot, third shot, fourth shot. Moves down the line. Okay. Yep. No. We might die. We'll see. Um, all right. So here we go. I, for the record, need a 40 or better to hit you. Okay. And I have plus two to damage. Technically, when I shot you, before, both my shots hit with my peacekeeper, right? Yeah. Okay, because I had, I was shooting with thing with Bloodhound, who has that additional. We're still beastie. Yeah, everything hit you. Still beastie. Okay, that's not a hit, and that is a hit. So at least one hits you. Okay. So that's a total of fourteen damage. Because you have uh, two. Okay, plus two. Okay. Pop off my knockout shield for 10. Awesome. All right. Okay, and that's the end of Gibby's turn. Wraith. Whew. Okay. Uh, how much does Bangalore 27. have? 27. All right, and all I need for them is, what, 8 10. points? It should go up here. Oh. And it, did it, was it exactly your health? Yeah, because I had 14. Oh, okay. You so yeah, 10 shield 14, is all you got. And my 10 shield popped, and now I have 10. All right. So, wow. Um, wow. Just wow. What do I have here? Okay. So, I've got... All right, I have the ability to use my charge rifle, which could potentially do enough to kill you if I hit you twice. Who are you aiming at? At Bloodhound. Bloodhound? Yep. <clears throat> All right, we are playing in a before shoot. Target may use an item. Um, I am playing this as a reaction, which says you can't play that. Turn it to the owner's hand. Yep, so you still have it. Yep. But I'm not going to let you get away that <laughs> easily this time, young lady. Okay. Did my best. Um, and I think, just for the record, uh, I'm going to at least move one away. <laughs> Why? I can move two away. 
If I move to here, I can still see you and I'm farther away. So it's one, two, three, four. So when I actually shoot at you, I only have a penalty of plus 10, which is really a negative five because I have a 15. So I just need a 60 to potentially hit you with the real weapon. Okay. Because we've all talked about how terrible I am at actually hitting things. Okay. So the first three, two hits. So that's 14. Dead. Nice. And then, just for the record... Yeah, because you want to see if you could actually hit right now? <laughs> am I going to get you with that? I don't think so. No. Nope, that doesn't hit you. Ah! It would have it been a 60, but I feel good about it. All right. So at least we've got one. All right, so we are even Steven now, Mishira. Do you know where I'm popping in, though? When right I... here. <laughs> it's okay, though, because she's at least the most healthy, and it doesn't matter if you kill her, because that's the one you need to kill. I know, I know, I know. When mm -hmm. I pop in, do we think that I come in with my beast ability, or does it die when I die? Uh, your beast ability is definitely dead. Fine. For sure. Well, but the ability remains active until you use an item or interact. Or die. I'm pretty sure Sorry. death ends your it's ability. Putting it down there. <laughs> My beastie mode is so fun. <laughs> All right. Did you, both of your characters at, okay, cycle the next round? Yep. Like, so we're going through. Okay. So. We need to kill you. Kill, kill, kill. We're going to take turns with Bangalore first. Okay. Bangalore is one. I feel like I missed a round, just for the record. I think, I think we're on round five, okay. not round six. Or not round four. I'm pretty sure I missed yeah. round Yeah, oh four. yeah, no, we're definitely yeah. on round four. Or um, five is what I mean. Okay. Like I said before, you're still very yep. close, and I still don't I like that. I am still very close. Um, This shotgun does not help me if... So we're jumping up anyways. Okay. For the first action. So move, move. Might as well be next to you. Yep. Are you playing anything? Um, actually, do we want to move, move? We do not want to move, move. We will shoot up it. We can, we're, you're still in our line of sight. We're gonna use a shield battery right now. And yeah, cause we, you yeah, we're, we're using a shield battery. 25 for my shield. Refresh that, 25 and 27. It's a little more reassuring. Okay. Um. All right, now we are going to shoot up with the shotgun, um, take off an ammo, um, one space away, which we are, two by two, 50, 45, aim. Wait. Okay. I'm going to play a before shoot action. Go. How many things do you get? What do you mean, how many things do I get? How many shots do you get? It's two by two. Two by two. Yeah, we're 100% doing this. Ignore that on aim cards. Why do you have so many of them? I have two of them. That's all I have. Okay. And you saved them? You haven't used them? And I, haven't used, I haven't used okay. anything. They're away. the best ones. Okay. I'm leaving it here so I can remember. Stability is plus two. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. um, two by two. These two. Ready? Yep. Ready, steady. Ready. One. That's a hit. Two. That's a miss. Three. Four. <sighs> three hits. You ignore the head. Yep. And um, I ignore 10 points. And you ignore 10 points. So three hits. Three times 11 is 33. 23 damage. 23 damage. Whew. All right. So 23 minus 31 is... Uh, 31 minus 23, you mean? Yeah, 31 minus 23. Eight. Eight. Okay. I have eight points of health left. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. For your whole character. That's it. Oh lordy. Okay. So, do we think it is worth taking 10 points of damage <laughs> to be able to <laughs> shoot from here? We do. One, two, three, four spaces away. We're popping in. Because okay. we're at full capacity. Mm -hmm. Gibby is, not Gibby, Bloodhound is back in action. They will have a shield of 40 now, and health of 40. Mm-hmm. And all they need to do is eight points of damage. All they need to do. And they're wow. using and their I have nothing I can marksmen do. Nothing taking that I off. Can do. Um, all right. It's a range of four to five. Um, 55 minus 15 is 30. Stability okay. of two. 
drawing yeah. three cards. Stability of two means that you now only need a 25. Yeah. Okay. Three cards. Ready? No. One. Oof. Two. That's it. Three. Headshot. Yay! Yep. Congratulations, Mashira Chavin. You murder, murder. took him out. Murder, murder lized. Murder, murder. Just for the record, Wraith, Wraith kicks blood. <laughs> Like a, like a solo Wraith kick right across upset. the face. Yeah, very upset. I'm sizzling. <laughs> yeah, you're sizzling. I hurt my foot when I kicked you, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Awesome. Well, there you go, folks. There's Apex Legends. We had a great time playing. Yeah. Uh, what a fabulous, really unique system. I really like the Stay tuned concepts. on the channel because we're going to be doing a first impressions, and yep. we're going to have a preview coming up. There was already a first look at the components, and so, yeah, there's definitely going to be more content coming out from this game. Absolutely. So, stay tuned. Thank you so much for being here. Whatever the case, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Kick get your friends in the face. Sizzle. Sizzle. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.